Yes, sir. My tricky. Back up in this thing, man. Today, I hope you are ready to take a deep dive, man. I'm about to react to some creepy TikToks that'll make it hard for you to sleep tonight. But before we hop into that, man, go ahead, spam that like button right now so we can run the numbers up for the algorithm. You ain't even gotta think about it later. And if you haven't already, man, sub up, man. Join the community, man. Hit that subscribe button right now. The community is so lit. We all about together in this, man. We all here just trying to discover the world's mysteries, man. And to everybody that's already subbed so far, we at 1600, man. I'm just so thankful and beyond blessed to be building this with such a good community of people, man. And I've been saying that from day one, and I'm going to always say that, man. But let's hop straight into the video, man. I'm telling you today, so let's go. By law, your body, your physical body is a corporation. So when you die, you're a corpse. Because when you're living, you're a corporation. Words and terms are based on maritime admiralty, the law of water. It's an extraordinary story about how governments rule the world. And unless you understand this... You're never going to figure out what's going on. Where do you find banks? On you side. find banks over on the side of a river. So what does a river bank do? It directs the flow of the current because your currency yep. is the cash flow, the liquid asset. And so money goes through your hands like water. No, yeah. no, money is water. That's it's the flow. As much money Jeez. as you print, you've got to take some back in to make it a valuable. The tide goes out, it's got to come back in. Money goes out, money comes in. Hey, you know it's good when you start off with Jordan Maxwell. That's all I'm going to say. Read some of your letters, man, because you know a lot of them hit the internet, man. One of the things you were talking about a lot while you were in prison was uh, a lot of the conspiracy theory stuff, mm -hmm. uh, Illuminati stuff. Um, do you still believe that? Yeah, yeah. That's real. Talk, talk, talk to me about, because well, I, I, I remember, can we bring this up real quick? It's just a, uh, from, it's from your, your letter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read it. It says, the exact moment in time when I discovered the entire planet was being lied to uh, and was put upon a spell to keep us unaware of it was back in 90, 1996, around the time Biggie got locked up for the tech in his house. Mm -hmm. And then there was something else here that I thought was interesting. You said, Jay-Z knows the truth, but he chose sides with evil in order to be accepted in the corporate. Uh, Jay-Z conceals the truth from the black community and promotes the lifestyle of the beast instead. You know, I had a whole bunch of weird paranoid suspicions about what the hell was going on because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand. Right. Um, and nobody was really bothering to explain it to me. They don't. <clears throat> and, it, it, and I formed a bunch of opinions about the town and about the people in it that were like, surely that couldn't be because a whole place can't be like, you know, weird town, you know, where the stranger wanders in and and all the people are in the bar and they all shut up when he looks at him and, mm -hmm. and they tell you don't go into the house on the hill and it's like that mm -hmm. and then you go away and you think no that's i was wrong i mean that's insane thinking i'm paranoid i imagined that stuff that couldn't be the reason for why so and so was acting like could it mm -hmm. and then you find out later on the track that you are exactly on track mm -hmm. with a lot of this stuff not mm -hmm. specifically on no. track but that you could, uh, that some of your worst nightmares were real at the time, and you think, mm -hmm. now this is what I mean by actually starting to swim up or downstream with the rest of the salmon, mm -hmm. you know, eventually, if you stay here long enough, yeah. you'll find yourself doing that. Um, and you have to, there's a way of doing it without doing it. Mm -hmm. That takes time. Mm -hmm. uh, and it takes relaxation. Mm. Not being uncomfortable about... Not being uncomfortable. Realizing it for what it is. Projecting. And understanding what it is. Once you understand it, well, then you're not afraid of it anymore. Mm -hmm. So you can just walk around it and through it. And, mm -hmm. and then get on with what you tried to get on with in the first place. A place like this can humiliate you. Mm -hmm. And it can be... It can either... It can humiliate you. It can be humbling. I mean, it does rip your life to pieces. Is it? If you'll let it. Yeah. And it's always pounding at the walls. It's yeah. the, these little guys, these little heathens with no soul downstairs with horns <laughs> on their head with a battering ram trying to like beat your walls. Bro, that looked like a real vent session from the core of his being, bro. Like, hey, I said it in previous videos. I would never move to Hollywood because like you just find yourself probably caught up in something weird. 
this reptilian bloodline you talk about? How do they manage to keep it pure? Well, they haven't, in fact. The, the reason why people in positions of power today look like normal humans and basically act like normal humans is because they have interbred over and over again. Thank you. I've heard this rumor that our presidents come from this bloodline. That is absolutely true. It's real. These reptilian people in positions of power are literally coming from another dimension. <laughs> Shit. Take off is Aaron Dotson. And he's very well. He's okay. So take off faked his death. Yeah. Okay, can you elaborate on that a little bit? Hell no. What? <laughs> Don't hit me up unless it's over 10. Looks like the same exact person. So oh make sure you guys God. share this video because this has to be like the most obvious one out of all of my videos. But anyways, here's some more comparisons of Takeoff and Tato. They look so much alike. And this is what I mean about Orlando Brown. Yes, he look, he's he's giving you the half truth. Takeoff is alive. He says that. But then he'll mix it with a bullshit lie to confuse you, saying it's someone that it's not. Who I just showed you in that previous video is Takeoff. Look at them and go look at who Orlando Brown said it was. <laughs> no, this is what controlled opposition characters on the world stage will do. They will tell you truth, but then they'll wow. mix it with lies. So he won't tell you the full truth, okay? They were doppelgangers, dog. It don't get much closer than that. Because um, one of the things I asked him is I said, I don't, I get it, but oh, I shit. don't get it. The children. You just, mm. you got to, I still have, I have such a problem with this. You got to explain this one to me. And he said, um, well, first of all, you're looking at it the wrong way. I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, they don't define children the way you do. They don't define the world the way you do. The choices that you face are not their choices, right? They have a, they look at it completely differently. And uh, and I said, well, okay, so how do they look at it? And he said, for them, everything is defined by their one fundamental, all-consuming purpose. I said, which is what? He said, mm. to defeat God, right? Because this is the moment, I mean, for them, it's about uh, the real God, the true gods are them and Satan, yeah. they're, mm -hmm. right? And so he said, <laughs> children, are, children are the closest thing on earth to God, because mm -hmm. we are created in the image of God. And as you know, from the moment we're created, we haven't had time to, uh, to, you know, to be corrupted and destroy. So for them, the younger you are, the closer you are to God, the more pain they can inflict on God. So the more wow. you can make a baby or a small child suffer, the greater your victory over God. Wow. And that is the only consideration for them. Outside of that doesn't exist. Welcome to Conspiracy Talk, or as I like to call it, the side of TikTok that's on the wrong side of the tracks. A lot of people requested me to, to come out and talk about um, Maya Sope and um, theories about where she is, what happened to her, etc, etc. 
Maya Sophie is an Egyptian conspiracy theorist and scientist who came about around 2011. She didn't really gain traction until somebody pulled up her videos recently and discussed how like a lot of these things already occurred in yeah. terms of like the virus, the pandemic, everything that was going on with that. But there are very interesting theories about Maya Sophie. One of them that's you know, a lot of people have said on this app is that she is um, one of them and that she wanted to get the message across and then like just disappeared. Another fascinating one that they talked about was there was somebody who claimed that her eyes in the, in the studio when she was filming with this man, um, you know, converted to like reptilian eyes, which is not proven but that's another conspiracy theory some people believe that she was wearing a mask and that's why like her makeup is over the top and she has bangs to hide her hairline some other people have claimed that mm. she is obviously unalived which i hope is not the case people believe that she's still making videos with a scientist who's also in egypt right now but without um showing her identity but i've heard the audio and the the, the audio doesn't match with the voice that I've heard in the interviews. Another thing I've heard is that um, she could be in hiding. She may be moved to another country. You know, there's so many things floating about about who she is or like what she is. Uh, there's no really documentation about her. No family has claimed her. It's just one of those things that nobody understands really what is going on or who she is or how she came about or anything at this point but it's very interesting to understand these things yeah. when you listen to her videos hey i'm gonna be honest that's the first time i ever heard about her i mean it sounds like it's about 10 possible things that could be up so i'm probably gonna do a little research and look into it, it sound like a good mystery so, but if you know something about it man drop a comment i'm sure somebody be interested man i'll be interested but until next time y'all thank you for coming to kick it with me hope you enjoy it let me know what you guys thought about this and until next time always remember you will have some haters but the real ones always prosper. And I know you a real one, so you ain't got to worry about all that. All right.